Welcome back to another video. Today we're pretty much just cleaning up around the shop a little bit. We had tons of metal lying around here, pretty much a full trader full. A little bit of wire, an old rim, just old pieces of metal, some pipes. So that's what we're doing today, just cleaning up around the shop. And there you have it, organized trash. There was uh, quite a bit of metal here. My brother actually just left. He was gonna go see if he could make it in time to the, I don't know, there's a place that takes all the metal. So he was gonna see if they could take it yet today. But we still got a little bit of stuff here. I mean, stuff like that. We're not sure if we could throw that away because it's still, you know, decent stuff. Tires we can't obviously bring to a metal place to, and then there's some big ripper shanks, I guess. That's way too heavy for us to lift, so we just kind of just moved it there. But yeah, now it's all organized. These shuttles here, uh, chemical company wasn't gonna come pick them up yet, but they still have them. I guess they like to keep these, with a certain type of totes they like to keep. Those are all junk over there. One of these days, someone's gonna come pick them up, but as for now, it's all nicely cleaned up. And before I go home, I'm just gonna take the folder and drive some of the fields around, see if I can find, find some trash. Looking for trash, and I found a trash can. How convenient. And in the trash pit it goes. Cleaning up even more trash. Especially this big old thing. This, that, that's from my first video, if you ever wanna go and watch it. We took that out of the ground. That was a good project. But yeah, a lot of this is going under that trailer. It's a lot of old pipes. All the stuff we've replaced over the years. A bunch of check valves, valves, a bunch of stuff. So the rest of this stuff right here, some of these longer pipes, we're gonna have to go, go get a torch and uh, torch some of these old pipes a little, bit, a little bit shorter because I don't think the scrap yard will take them when they're this long so we'll go have to get the torch later and torch some of these smaller but regardless it's looking a lot better with majority of the pipes gone and that trailer is pretty much full already just from this little bit that we cleaned up here it always looks nice cleaning up around the shop and burning some trash Time to start torching. And there you have it. All the pipes are torched off or cut, cut into shorter pieces and loaded up on the trailer. And now we're cleaning off our welder trailer. There's just a bunch of junk on here that we never use. There's a bunch of scrap metal that we use all the time. So we're gonna put that back on there. But other than that, there's a ton of trash on here. A bunch of dirt, old cans, a little bit of rubber everywhere, so we're cleaning it off and organizing it a little bit. And there you go, nice and organized. Checking on the pivots that I turned on the other day. Turning on pivots again. This time I'm on the dirt bike. Look at all the walls that we have around here. Yeah. Six of them all in one spot. There's one there, this one, got one right there, and then another one right there, and then another one right there, and one on top of the hill. All within a few acres, got six wells. There's not a lot of water here. There's all just three horses, or I think, I think, there's, I think this one might even be a five. That one's probably still a five horse, but a bunch of different wells, just all small ones, and we can barely water one, maybe two pivots. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Well, that's not good. 
Yep, that's definitely broken. Yeah, it's completely rusted off of there. We're gonna have to get the welder, maybe torch it off, weld some new on there, something. I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out. And looks like we turn on, well, we turn on all the wells and it looks like we have five wells that are not working. Two of them have, both have a short, so we need to go find those shorts. And then the other three wells, uh, one of those fuses on a power line pole is out, so electric company has to come and fix that. So that's what we're waiting on now. So what I'm doing here now is I'm taking water from this section and giving it to that section. So that section doesn't have enough water for uh, t enough water to water both pivots. So this section has a little bit more water. So I close the valve at that pivot and at that pivot. And then there's a valve between these two fields and those two fields. I close that valve already. And these two valves are open and all I gotta do is just open this one yet. And then I'm gonna turn on two wells from this section and then that'll give that section a lot more water. Then hopefully both pivots will have enough water. All fixed. I got speed, he's got the handle. <laughs> and thankfully only one tip closed. And now we wait for this pivot to pressure up. Looks like my brother left me here at the pivot. I'm gonna have to walk back to the shop. Never mind, there he is. Thanks for watching, guys.